Are you prepared to work with Prince William and Princess Kate? First, you might want to brush up on your Welsh. A new assistant private secretary is being hired by the Prince and Princess of Wales to work in their official office at Kensington Palace. The role necessitates not just great communication and organizational abilities but also a few special attributes that will assist the royal couple deepen their bond with Wales. This is an exciting opportunity to join the dedicated team at Kensington Palace, supporting TRH the Prince and Princess of Wales, according to the job description. The Assistant Private Secretary for Wales and UK will lead the planning and delivery for most of TRH's public engagements in Wales, Scotland, and Northern Ireland, and contribute to the development of the household strategy to maximise impact across the constituent nations of the UK, with a particular focus on Wales. A candidate with a demonstrated ability to build productive relationships with a wide range of individuals and institutions is what they are searching for. Working in a small, dynamic team, you'll be aggressive, hands-on, and knowledgeable about Welsh communities, issues, politics, and business. The 42-year-old Prince William and Princess Kate are also seeking a speaker of the infamously difficult Welsh language. The job description states that fluent Welsh, both written and spoken, is desirable and conversational Welsh is essential. With the assistance of Dr. Edward Teddy Millward, King Charles reportedly studied Welsh prior to his investiture ceremony for the traditional title of the heir to the throne in July 1969, this relationship was depicted in the third season of The Crown. Before taking on the throne following Queen Elizabeth's death in 2022, the monarch enjoyed a record-breaking 64 years as the Prince of Wales. As soon as the mourning period after Queen Elizabeth's death ended in September 2022, Prince William and Princess Kate made their first trip to Wales as ruler and consort. Since then, the couple has made other trips to Wales, including one in 2023 on the first anniversary of Queen Elizabeth's passing. William and Kate had a unique bond with Wales even before they were crowned Prince and Princess of Wales because it was their home when they were first married and became parents. Prince William completed his training at the Search and Rescue Training Unit at RAF Valley in Anglesey, Wales, in order to become a helicopter pilot with the Royal Air Force's Search and Rescue Force. Tatler claims that he was the first royal family member to reside in the United Kingdom since King Henry VII did so in the 1400s. If you are a royal fan please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you. Announcing their engagement in 2010, Prince William and Kate stated that they will stay in North Wales, where William was employed as an air-sea rescue pilot. A few months later, in February 2011, Kate made her first formal royal appearance in Wales at the Trierder Bay Lifeboat Station, when she dedicated a brand new lifeboat. William and Kate lived in Wales as newlyweds after getting married in April 2011. In July 2013, they welcomed their first child, a son named Prince George, and spent their initial months as parents there as well due to her cancer treatment, Princess Kate has only attended two public events in 2024, Trooping the Colour on June 15 and Wimbledon on July 14. Given that the royal family usually stays out of the spotlight during the summer, her visit at the tennis tournament was probably her last public appearance for some time. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you.